Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man, and we are back on Missouri. And I have been working offline quite a little bit. Too bad the farm's next to the airport. Man, it's noisy around here. Get away from there. Uh, let's see. Let's go out to the field. And I'll show you a little bit about what's going on here. Let me get away from this. Get a little peace and quiet here. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. All right, so what I decided to do is just uh, start plowing. i got a lot of plowing to do. And so I decided since all the fields that I own pretty much need to be plowed, I've been slowly working on them and plowing and fertilizing and seeding. And so I may not uh, necessarily harvest them all at once, but I'm trying to work my way around the map. I found some crazy things. Uh, for example, I showed you this uh, field up here that doesn't have a number on it. And I'm working currently on field 54, which is really strange. If you look at the outline of this and see all the red, field 54 is supposed to be this whole thing here. But if you look at the map, let's see. Does it show it? Yeah, on the map here, you'll see on 54, it's got kind of a, a gully running through it in the northwest there a little bit. So it looks like there's actually two fields there. But if you look and, and look where it shows the dirt, that shows the dirt kind of, I don't know, it shaped kind of funny. But when you go to the map in here, it, it actually, before I started plowing, it showed that whole square as the field. So here's what I did. I went in and uh, when I when I went into the field itself and I started in this corner over here and I just selected the field and when I did it gave me the whole square. The whole square. Now if you look at the map where I, in the lower bottom there you'll see that right there's where the field ends right here. Supposedly, this is where the field ends, but it doesn't. In the game, it shows the field coming all the way out here into this area completely around here. Look, that's where it shows the field being. It's part of this building and, and this over here. Uh, so it's all kind of messed up. There's some trees here, and there were in the gully over here. Let's see. This is the gully that you saw on the map, and there, this was this was full of trees the whole way, well, I, and and brush. I went in and took all the trees and brush out in Giant Editor. And so what I did was instead of using what the game told me, because look, this is what the game told me was the field clear out in here. Well, what I did was um, I did a course play route manually, and just kind of manually. Uh, patterned the field out like this and when it came to here look see there's another farm here this farm is actually supposed to be part of this field the field comes clear out to here over here so uh, so what I did was again I, I started a course play route manually and I'm coming around outside of that area I'm, I'm within the boundaries of um, what I think the field should be regardless of what else is on it. So I stopped it here and and came this way and then uh, this way here so it's not interfering with these other buildings and stuff. Then what I did was I, I'm, tr I'm attempting to fix what is wrong uh, this way. I, I bought this uh, this machine here that you can get in in miscellaneous, if you go to miscellaneous, I don't know how many of you have actually used this piece of equipment, but if you go in here, you got this thing here, and with this machine, you can restore the initial ground state or delete fields. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm deleting the field and restoring it what it was supposed to be in the first place, and so it's a it's a slow process, but as you see, I drive along, and if it was dirt there. It's sending it back to dirt. 
If it was gravel, it would make it gravel. If it's grass, it makes it grass. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to slowly work on this until I get the, the field back to where it was. And in the meantime, I'm using a, a man-made uh, course play route to work the field so that it doesn't go into these buildings. Because I kept running into those buildings trying to seed, and it wasn't working very well. So there's that. I'm going to work on that. And I've been, like I said, slowly going around the farm and working the fields that I own. I got number one done and all that kind of stuff. I got a lot of spraying to do. So, and then... I did some more experimenting because you, I don't know if you remember, but I, but I told you, how in the hell does the uh, tree farm work? Because it's it, every place is water. The whole thing is water, all the way down. It's water. Well, okay, so I can go in the water. That doesn't hurt me any, obviously. But what about my equipment? So what I did was I bought some more equipment here, and I actually started logging. And you can you can drive down in there, so it doesn't hurt you. It doesn't say, "Hey, you're you're going too deep. You're going to drown." Blah blah blah. It doesn't do that. You can drive down here and cut all these trees. See, it doesn't hurt whatsoever. So I can actually bring my equipment down and just log this whole area. So that's what I started doing, and I found uh, several different things in my wandering. Uh, hit a tree is what I've done. Oh no, I'm stuck. Let's try it. Get me out. Let me out. Four wheel drive. So anyway, I thought that was kind of strange, but there you go. So, what else? Uh, I found a couple of weird things. Uh, it just gives me more work to do. Let me get these guys started here. Uh, I bought another thing, so I have. Thing 2.1 and Thing 2.2. So let's get both of those guys running. So they're doing their thing. <laughs> um, and what else? Let's see. I leased a couple of trees. Let me get this guy going. How far has he got to go? He's just starting. So let's get this guy going. I've been... I've been working back and forth between spraying and fertilizing. Uh, li that, that, that is liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer. I've been kind of kind of jumping back and forth. So what field is this? 52. Okay, field 52, we're, we're spraying. So let's do that. Get him working again. Now, the thing I like about the spraying is that it'll go 24 miles an hour, because this is a mod. Modded it to go 24 hours, 24 miles an hour, and also it it does 36 meters at a shot. The thing I don't like about it is it's got a boom that if anything's in the way, it gets stuck. So and it doesn't always work well within the field, which reminds me, I have to make sure I I, I uh, deactivate this and give it a little bit wider turn here. Do at least 14. And let's see, is he doing his thing? Yeah, he's going to be okay, I guess. All right, so I just let him go. Grasshopper slipping. What? Which grasshopper slipping? Where's he slipping to? Oh, 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 it's probably a train coming by. I've had that happen several times. That a train comes by and they get stuck behind the, behind the, uh, what you dinger. Oh, in this case, they probably got behind each other. So, let's see. What else? I was seeding. Let's go do that. Okay, and I was seeding hops on this field. So, I had to... Uh, this particular piece of equipment was not set up to do uh, the, the crops that are on this field. So, what I did was I went in and I modded that case seeder to do grapes and all the other stuff that's on this. Uh, it wasn't set up to do hops. So I had to had I had to add hops. I had to add peanuts. Uh, they have a second corn. So you have corn one and corn two. Now corn two you can use for silage. 
So it's a different kind of corn. So I had to set the seeder up so that it would seed all those other things that I wanted to, to do. So anyway, so now this thing will do hops and grapes and, uh, and peanuts and everything that I need to have it do. So this is field 54. Let's get back at that. We're going to uh, seed field 54 and have it take off where it left off. So I've been working pretty hard just trying to get this thing going here. There's a lot of production on this map. And I did find a couple other things. Let me run out here. Close to this area, let's see, up this way. Uh, okay, yeah, I found this because if you remember in the first episode, I, I pretty much just ran around, uh, flew around and drove around and just kind of took a cursory look at everything. But I didn't get out and actually go from building to building to find out what kind of production we had. But we have a warehouse system. This is a warehouse shipping and receiving system. So if we want to do beer kegs or beer boxes, whatever mel is, and sugar, and cream, and yogurt, and butter, and milk, and lions, and tigers, and bears, oh my, this is bread here. So what you do is you just drive in here, and it stores this stuff on these shelves. Okay, so you can store all your stuff here. Everything you make, you can store. And then when you come over to this building, you you come in here and park your truck. And then you go over to this system over here and you say, okay, I want some sugar. I want some milk. I want some cream. And it takes it from the warehouse and brings it in here so that you can load it on your truck. I love it. I've not used it yet. Now we have this in... Uh, North Frisian uh, March map, and I haven't used it in that map yet either. So because I don't have any products, I, I, I'm busy seeding and plowing and all that kind of stuff. So I don't really have any um, product yet, except for, actually I do. Uh, I've got, uh, I, I have at least a couple of fields that I don't own. Eight and 12, one, eight had sunflowers on it, and 12, I think, no, wait a minute. Eight had corn on it, which it has uh, Sudan grass on it now. But at least these two fields, oh, they're both Sudan grass. One of them had grapes on it. This one had grapes, and that one had corn. So I do have grapes and corn. The corn I've been putting in the pig machine. And uh, i got to be careful about the snake, because it still makes me... Oh, jeez, I almost went right over it. Oh, God, I hate that thing. It just scares the snot out of me. So anyway, um, also, you can actually purchase chickens on this map. Let me find the chicken mobile thing. Where's the chickens? Right here. OK, so right here, it, there's your chickens nesting, and there's your eggs. And you can actually buy chickens, just like you used to be able to do. So I have 25 chickens right now. I can buy more chickens. So uh, I can start my chicken ranch. Pretty cool, huh? And then over here, this door's kind of weird. Let me see. Let me click this door here. Come on. How did I shut that door? There it goes. OK, office open 6 hours to 16 hours. 6 to 1,600. So that would be 6 in the morning to uh, what? Um, um, Four o'clock in the afternoon. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see. Uh, yeah, one o'clock would be thirteen. Uh, one, two. Yeah, four o'clock. So I don't know what the hell this is, though. I think you just sell hay here, bales or something. I think you can do bales. I haven't. I haven't figured it out yet because I usually don't do bales. So these are cool. I don't know if you've played this map yet, but if you did at night. Those, all those signs light up. They're really bright. It's just really cool. I love it. And let's see. I found some other things. I found something pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm not getting any work done. Get my helicopter. This is funny now. 
Okay, I'm going to fly over to the pig pens, which are down this way. I've got a ton of silage going. Uh, thing one and thing two, or thing 2.1 and thing 2.2, they've been working their tails off hauling grass, and I've been taking all that grass and putting it in this silage silo over here. So I got tons of that made, but I want to show you something about the pigs. Let's see. Look what's up in the air. Look at that. That's your straw plane. Isn't that weird? There's your straw plane. Now, interestingly enough, I went into Giant Editor and it shows the it shows the straw plane down in the ground where it's supposed to be. So I don't know what the heck's going on. It's just it's just kind of weird. Uh, so it, it doesn't bother me any. So I don't you know it's not a game ch uh, stopper. So so I just leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. I got some mixed feed going. I've already got some in storage. I don't have any animals yet. I did read the description on the map. And there's some things he's taken out, things he's added, added in. Since I didn't play the other version of this map, I have no idea really what the issues were because he fixed some issues and uh, took some things out and added some things in. No point in going over it because I'm not going to play the previous version. So there you go. All righty. I found some other things. Oh, I know. I was going to show you. Uh, I found the warehouse. And there's a thing right up here. There's the warehouse. Uh, where's the other thing I found? What's this? Water? Look, there's water. I think this is just another farm or something. Yeah, there's a hayloft. Here's a place where you can actually cut some more trees down and um, conveniently enough, there's a pallet machine here. So, uh, pallet boards. You can make pallet boards here. And you can make chip watcha dingers over here, I think. I think that's what this is. But I'm not sure. For making wood chips. How many chips can a wood chip chip? I don't know for sure. But, I did find there's a little building someplace. I probably won't be able to find it again. Okay, and uh, for meat, you get, you bring your animals here and you get sausage and uh, and steaks. So that's kind of cool. Now, the, I found another little building out here that makes pallets, and I can't remember where it was. I think it was actually in the city. It was in one of the cities, I think, which kind of was surprising. Why would you put that so far away from the uh, lumber place. But there was a... Uh, oh, shoot. Now I don't know where it's at. It's not this. This is a crab maker. Oh, geez. Now i got to find it again. I'm going to have to mark it on the map. There was a building around one of the cities that made uh, pallets. Darn it. Should have marked it. Oh, uh, I don't even remember what city it was. Okay, what's this? Is this a uh, soy soy milk place? I bet it is. I bet it is. Where's the Where's the computer? Well, that's odd. Where's the computer thing? There's usually a computer thing. But I think that's what this is. Uh, Die Weber. Diesel. There it is. It's in a building. Okay, so fuel wool, whatever wool is, makes trough roll. I have no idea what that is, but we'll have to figure it out. That's just weird. Uh, 
I, I thought maybe this was a... Uh, I thought it was a soy machine or something. What's that button over there? You think do something? All right, I'm stuck in here. I can't get out. All right, well, I, I'll have to figure that out. I don't know what the hell that is. I'll have to figure it out. Most of the things he switched to English, but obviously some things he didn't. So, God darn it, I need to find that machine that made the... The pal the pallets. Well, shoot. All right, I'll have to find it again. One of these cities had a a little place that made pa pallets, and I can't find it now. Look, there's a hospital in case you cut your arm off with your lawnmower. Workshop, workshop, works. Boy, it's a big workshop. All right, let's get back to work. I'm wasting time. Uh, I don't need to make pallets right at the moment, so I'll have time to look for it. But yeah, I kind of ran around the farm, and yeah, I think this is just storage. You got potatoes, I think, uh, beets, and grapes. The funny thing about the grapes, you grow them in a field just like anything else. There's no vines or anything, and I think you drive under here to get them, but I'm not sure. Let's go check on equipment. What's he doing? He's still doing the hops. So some of the crops that I put in, talking about crops, speaking of such, let's see, let's go growth types, fruit types. Okay, as you can see, um, poplars, I did 15 in poplars. And let's see, I got canola in here. I've got some wheat. Uh, 53 has, uh, I think, wheat on it. What's 19? What? I did some oats and some barley. 54 is hops that I'm running. Corn, no, sunda grass. I don't know what I have up here, to be honest with you. Eight and two. Oh, I don't own those. Never mind. Um, so yeah, I'm doing hops here. I haven't done any peanuts yet, but I'm trying to slowly just, uh, do my, my, uh, what do you call it? Oh, you got black beans too. I forgot to mention black beans, sorghum, sugar cane, uh, black beans, grapes, Sudan grass, the corn too. I mentioned corn too. You can use for making silage. I don't know what you do with peanuts. I know there's a peanut factory, but outside of just selling the peanuts, I don't know if there's anything else you can do. So let's let this guy go. Let me check to see what I need to be plowing. So let's see. I've got, I think, uh, potatoes on the pig farm growing. Let's see what needs to be plowed. I was going to start plowing 18, 51, 49, and 50 up here. And I'm just I'm just trying to get everything I own plowed and uh, seeded, not particularly um, at one time. I'm I'm doing my plowing and stuff while I'm waiting for the stuff that I've already done to ripen. So in the meantime, I'm just plowing. So let's get our plow. And run it up to, let's see, we're at 54. Let's run it up to like 49 and 50. Let me grab my plow and head that way. Thing 1.1, I think, is done. What's that? Oh, I'm stuck. There's something on the side of the road. What is that? A bucket and a grinder. 
somebody left their tools out here. You never know what you're going to find out on the side of the road. Now, this is a good side. Look at the, how little this road is. You have to kind of drive the whole road. When I hit a road sign, you got to watch out for the road signs. They jump right out in front of you. Um, I think I'll start with field 49. We'll just work here. Okay, so we're southeast. I'm gonna do some pluing. So we got your field number 49. By the way, I'm trying out a new microphone today, so hopefully I got it set up okay. It's a brand new microphone. It's called the Blue Spark Digital, and it's supposed to have some features on it that are a little bit better than my blue microphone that I was using. The blue, my blue microphone, I, I have the blue platinum. Let's see, southeast. I have the blue platinum, and it works very well. It's a good good sounding microphone uh, it does a very good job but a couple things that I didn't like about it one of them is that it picks up more background noise it picks up your my computer fan it was picking up uh, you know there's there I, I was having to use software to take the uh, the weird noises out of the background and even with nothing running with nothing running, just complete dead air, I still had a little bit of a hum in the microphone. It's just constant. And as long as I'm talking, you probably didn't hear it. But if I stopped talking and there wasn't any noise in the game, you could hear a little bit of a hum. It was just always there. And uh, so this new one supposedly doesn't have that. The other problem that I had was there's a little bit of a lag because I have my uh, headset hooked into my microphone so that when I have my headset on I can hear what I'm saying and that kind of stuff let's see we're gonna do plow field 49 was it so again this new map is supposed to have no lag between what I say and what I hear so that could get really frustrating at times when I'm recording and everything that I say is is delayed by a, you know a little bit of time and most of the time it wasn't delayed a lot it was just a very micro you know delay at other times there was quite a delay and it was really irritating for that to happen so this one's not supposed to have any of that but we'll find out if I got it set up right. Uh, plus, right now, I didn't have the accessories to put it on my microphone stand. So I've got it setting directly on the table. It comes with a table stand. But you, I don't really like that because I have a lot of equipment on my table. I've got mice. I've got gear shift knobs. I've got my steering wheel. I've got my keyboard. Uh, you know, I'm picking up the soup du jour and setting it down and all, all of that affects that microphone if it's sitting on the table so I prefer to have a microphone stand to fix that and I had to order the accessories to do that because I do have a microphone stand but it doesn't have the accessories for this mic this mic has a different um, a base to it so anyway We'll see what happens. Hopefully I got it set up all right. Okay, so we got this guy going. Let's go check on Cedar Guy. See what he's doing. Uh, he's almost done. He's got a couple of licks to go. So it looks like thing one point... Oh, my sprayer's done. Okay, these two guys... Nope, that guy's not done. Let's head back to the spray rig and see if he did any good. Where is he? 
He's in 52. I got one more sprain to do on on some of these fields. Uh, let's go do... Hmm. What's going on on field five? What did I have going on field five? Did I have the other spray rig running? I did. I don't like this spray rig. This is a in-game spray rig and it's too slow. Uh, it has a pretty good spread on it. It's got a 26 meter spread, but it's really slow. So fertilizer field five. How come there's two field fives? All right. Let's look at the second one. They look the same to me. I'm going to delete one. And we'll select that one. Turn that off. Drive, of course. Uh-oh, where's he going? Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Uh, that's weird. I think I might have deleted the wrong one. Where's he going? He's going. Uh, well, I don't know what's going on. I'll just have to let him go and see what happens. All right, we got a bunch of stuff going on here. Let's see, he's done. I knew that already. Let's uh, stop him. Stop the driver. Turn that off. And the grass. That guy's done. Let's stop him. And this guy's done. Let's stop him. Whoops. Okay, he's done. We're doing hops on this field. Let's see. I did. I need to do some grapes. I did. Um, I haven't done any peanuts. What's the next field to look at here? 54. I have to wait now because I've got everything everything going. I don't know what this field over here is. It doesn't have a number on it. Um, I have to wait for 49 because uh, I don't have anything else plowed. So we'll just head this guy over that way. And I think I'm going to probably do either peanuts or grapes. Let's do some grapes. Oh, I haven't done any rye. Or sugar beets. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Is that Stein? Did I put... I didn't put sugar cane in. Oh. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I'm wondering if sugar cane doesn't use a, uh, a regular... Let's do some sugar cane. I'm, I'm getting anxious to find out whether it uses a regular uh, a header on a combine or if you have to use a, a sugar beet thing. Because sugar cane grows up like uh, bamboo, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, it's not sugar beets. It's sugar cane. Let's just park this guy right here for now. And we'll go check on Plowboy. They like it when you call him Plowboy. We got Raymond LeDuc on the plow. And we got Jeremy Varner doing the, uh, the spraying. Which is what? Is he going the right way? I guess so. Okay, and then uh, who else we got here? Chris Hamlet's doing some grass for us. All right, we're ready to get this th thing done here. Wish I could remember where the pallet machine was. Oh, I know what I could do. Let me grab... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Do we need spraying? Who else needs spraying here? Uh, one, let's, uh, let's go down to field one and spray. Mm. 
Whoa. Oh my god. Now what? What do I do now? Uh, ram and speed. Take a shortcut through the through the sheep pen here. And where am I going? I'm heading for field number one. We're number one. I'm heading this way. Dang it. There he is. I tell you what, the railroad tracks on this map are worse than any other map I think I've seen. They stick up so high. You really got to be careful of the railroad tracks on this map. All right, let's see if I can knock this guy over. Ramming speed. Oh, sweet. Not even a dent in it. That's pretty good. Holy smokes, look at the drop off on this. All right, so let me take a look at the shape of field number one. Let's see, where do we want to start field number one? Oh, man. Down in that other corner, I think. Down in that corner. Yeah, we have uh, big power lines running through field number one, but they don't interfere with anything uh, because there's no collision on them. You can drive right through them. Gotta love that. Weehaw. So far I'm having fun on the farm. There's a couple little picky things, but there's nothing serious. And I'm just anxious to see if everything works. Like it's supposed to. Alright, now we're gonna do... I think I'm gonna do here and start at this corner and go west, I think. Let's see. Uh, we're on seating. Let's do this. It's field number uno. Uh, starting is southeast. I'm going to head west. And I'm going to go two of those. And do that. And do that. Spray field one. Oh, here's the other thing. The reason why I was kind of anxious about my new microphone. I told you I have a new microphone, right? Okay, so, uh, of course I did. Um, I have my air conditioner running. And I'm testing this mic out because it, it's, it's not supposed to be uh, as sensitive as picking up every little noise like the other one did. That the other microphone was really good, but if I if I take my fingernail and pop my tooth, you could hear it. I mean, if I drop a pin, you're gonna hear it. Um, this one, I think I can actually run my air conditioner, and you may or may not be able to hear it. I'm gonna find out. So I've got the air conditioner running because it's like about 80 degrees out, which is for us a scorcher. You gotta remember, we live on the coast. There's uh, a lot of uh, humidity, so. Let's get this fella running here. All right, there he goes. We're gonna let him run. Oh, I'm gonna have to get my truck down here because he's gonna need, oh, my truck happens to be real close. He's gonna need some uh, fertilizer here pretty quick. Wow, what happened here? Wow. I don't know what happened in this corner. That's kind of weird. Looks like somebody was already there and stole my crap. All right, let's run down and pick up those uh, those things I have down here. Okay. We've got some logs to pick up. Let's put the uh, left side's already there. Uh, start picking up. 
Got some big trees in here. Which is kind of kind of nice. Whoa! Hey, that was kind of cool. Picked them up from quite a ways away. What I kind of been doing is cutting them down in the water there, and then dragging them up so that they're not. I don't have to kind of wheedle my way down into the water. Oh, you know the one thing I didn't buy was a stump. Uh, what you dinger? I didn't buy a stump remover. Got to do that. Uh, now, why is it not picking it up? Okay, there we go. Now, let's put that straps on there. I'm going to hit... Oh, I got... No, no, that's not mine. I'm anxious to find out whether those trees that are... Logs that are down, that I can, if I can pick them up. I, don't, I wouldn't know why I wouldn't be able to. Okay, so I'm going to head up uh, to the machine up here that makes planks. I don't want to sell the logs. I want to make the planks. Makey the plankies. Am I going the right way? Um, I'm lost. Uh-oh. Where am I? Uh, where's the plank making machine? Uh, I'm lost. Where did I... Oh, who did that? Somebody made me crash into the stupid bunch dinger there. I suppose you'd call it a bridge. I call it an obstacle. Oh, it's on that hill right there where the windmills are. Or not windmills, wind turbines. By the way, um, I think you have like four wind turbines on this map uh, to make money. It's part of the part of the deal when you get the map. Alright, so I'm still getting oriented to where everything's at. But yeah, you got a pretty good uh, hill of trees here too you can cut. Yeah, I think we own that windmill right there. Okay, let's get these logs unloaded here. Oh, by the way, I did, uh, I probably told you already, I did plant a field of poplar trees uh, for making uh, uh, wood chips. So I'm going to have tons of wood chips. So that'll make it easier to make pallets. Start auto load. No, start unload. Let's take the straps off. Start the unload process. Oh, look at that. Ain't that sweet? Hey, hey, hey. What happened there? That ain't right. What's that? What? <laughs> what? Why is there a railroad bridge across here? That's kind of weird. Huh. Ah, strange and wonderful. Okay, so now I just need some fuel. And as you remember from the other one, the fuel is your uh, wood chips. So we need to get some wood chips in here. And that's a story for another episode, I think. So I think right now I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. And when I come back, we'll continue working on all these things we got started here. Hope you had fun. You did. Oh, you don't suppose that snake's in the bush. Oh, that snake's brought me out here. Um, give it a like if you liked it. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. 
and I'll see you on the next episode. I'm trying to train this dog to kill that snake. Happy farming.